And we're back at Chrysler Arena, Newcastle, getting set for the start of today's ball game. Newcastle going up against Paoli. Jumping center in the middle, that is uh, Chad Berry for Newcastle. He'll be jumping up with Scott Combs. Berry at six feet, eight inches tall, a senior. Combs at six, seven, a senior. Paoli in the purple with the yellow and white trim. The tap is out of bounds. And it was last touched by Paoli, so it will be Newcastle basketball. They really spread out on their uh, jump ball there and they had people <laughs> all over the court, so it's hard to tell where it was going to go. But a lot of people are doing that now and really not keeping everybody on the circle and making you really defend a bigger area as you start the game. Saber has the basketball. Huckabee lobs it off to England. They got two 6 8 players. Newcastle does in the ball game. Here's a shot put up for the baseline. No good by Huckabee, but he did draw the foul. That's what he's so good at uh, creating is he took the ball inside and hung up in the air for a long time before he was uh, finally hacked to the play by Gabe King. Uh, King, his first team foul number one, and two free throws for Kyle Huckabee, and he gets to the foul line quite often. Well, you can see that what uh, Paoli's going to try to do is the ball is passed in the low post down to uh, have to be number 32 tool there just double down from the top so they're going to try to double team him anytime he has the ball down the low post he's normally a good foul shooter at 81 percent coming in but he misses his first one off the back of the rim leads the ball club in scoring at 20.7 next free throw is good so huckabee gives newcastle the 1-0 lead and stim it quickly in the front court to tool As newcastle going straight man to man it's kind of surprising, really. Newcastle, I thought, with this big a lineup, they might be playing more zone defense, especially with Barry and England and Huckabee inside. So, kind of surprised to see them start the man to man. And a putback by Gabe King as uh, Dean Lynn missed the shot, but King followed it up and in. And here's the full court Paoli pressure. I was talking to Coach Alford. He said that Paolo would probably press the whole game, so they must be a full court pressure team. And looks like they're 1 2 1 1 trying to create some tempo and possibly cause some turnovers. Early foul trouble on Paoli as Gabe King has just picked up his second personal foul. The low post feed went down low to Chad Berry, and uh, King bumped into him and commits the foul. Paoli going with their bigger lineup to offset the, some of the size for Newcastle, but uh, early on they're going to have to go to their smaller lineup now as Joel Babcock will check in the ball game, and Gabe King will go out. He leaves with two personal fouls and the basket for Paoli. They look very aggressive in their uh, defense, both in the full court and their half court man to man. And uh, they're going to have to watch them, uh, make sure they don't uh, get a little over aggressive and get themselves in early foul trouble. Good defense there as it uh, collapsed around England as the ball went down low. As the uh, quack uh, quickly in the front court now to Lind. He's going to make a nice baseline move inside to score off the glass. And uh, that field goal is Kelly Tool. So Tool scores inside to give Paoli now the four to one lead. Miller does most of the ball handling for Newcastle, bringing the ball up the floor. They're looking for a trap. Very difficult to go from 1-2-1-1 one, one, one back to a man-to-man, -man, and that's what Pale is doing. And you can hear their coach Brown really getting with them to be sure they get back to their man once they get to half court. So it's going to be a pressure defense, full court, back to a man-to-man. -to -man. Combs with a tough shot along the baseline that's no good, and England comes down with a rebound for Newcastle. Trojans pushed the ball up the floor, had uh, the advantage, but uh, the pass was a little bit too tall for Chad Berry from Scott Miller, and he threw it over his head and out of bounds. Both teams really trying to push the tempo. You see Paoli especially run that sideline break, trying to get the ball up the floor quickly, uh, going inside last time to Combs, that's uh, really trying to create an up-tempo pace in this ballgame. Simmons down the middle. Babcock has it. Mitch Metz there. Uh, the big guy, uh, Berry, is on Babcock. Uh, Babcock uh, about uh, six inches smaller. Tool. Not a Lind. With a smaller lineup, obviously uh, it's going to be a challenge for Chad Berry to go outside. I think that's one thing we may see his own defense eventually from Newcastle to get Berry and England both near the basket because obviously Paola is going to run a, some type of a passing game offense where they're going to have Babcock away from the basket and that's going to bring Berry away and he's one of their best rebounders. Nice look that time to catch. Uh, Combs coming off a little back screen there along the baseline, found himself open underneath the basket and able to draw the foul. Well, inside call on Eric Anglin. That'll be his first team foul number one. And Scott Combs, the all-stater for Paoli, will go to the free throw line. A 6'7 senior averaging 20.5 points per ball game out of the year. His first free throw is good. Hazel, I think you saw Scott as a freshman who was at the Lebanon High School. Of course, moved into the Paoli district, has played his last three years in a Paoli. Well, I, you know, look back at that scorebook this morning. He had 17 points against us as a freshman in that game. 
and I noticed he had two three-pointers against us. So I kind of looked at his statistics. This year he's only got two totals, so he's playing inside more than he did as a uh, freshman when he used to be a perimeter player. Neighbor picks the dribble up in the backcourt. They're going to have to hurry to beat the 10. Miller just across the sideline to Huckabee, who cuts inside and fires no good. Tipped up, no good. England tipped up, England no good. And Simmons rebounds for Paoli. The Rams with a five-point lead, throwing long down the floor. Lynn saves inbounds, but it's controlled by Tabor. And Newcastle runs it back the other way. Up and down action. Here's Huckabee inside with a driving layup that's up and in. I tell the point guards try two passes straight ahead to the post players, and I've told my players that a million times. It just doesn't work very well. So one turnover for Paola and one for Newcastle on a straight ahead pass on the fast break, which is very difficult. That time they had the angle and they laid it in. So way to run the fast break from the middle out to the side and lay it in. Little isolation play. Combs drives inside, goes to Sibbett. Good long range shooter. He's got 20 threes out of the year, but a bit too strong with that one. And Huckabee comes down with a rebound to Miller. Down the floor to Tabor. 6-3, Paoli leads Newcastle. 4.50 to play, first quarter. Trojans in their half court, trying to go inside to Barry. Ball knocked away on the floor. Lynn, the tool, and away it goes to Sibbett. Good help that time defensively by two on the pass into the post. Did a nice job of stepping in and break that play up. Babcock left wing, picked up by Barry. Outside it goes to Sibbett. Off to a slow start offensively. Been pretty good defense each way early on. It's 6-3 to three Paoli with about 4.5. Here's a baseline jump shot by Toole that's no good. Babcock with a rebound. No good, but a whistle a foul called. And that foul's going to be whistled on Huckabee. On Huckabee, that'll be his first and team foul number two. And although Babcock is only six feet tall, he got up in the air pretty well on that offensive rebound. It's a good place to put him on the line. I think he's seven for seven this year. Hopefully, don't jinx him, but he hasn't missed one yet this year, I don't believe. Substitution now as McCracken will check in the Paoli lineup. Joe Babcock at the Paoli foul line for two shots with 4.20 to play opening quarter. The opening ball game of the 17th annual Hall of Fame Basketball Classic today from Newcastle. And he jinxed him, Basil, as he misses his first free throw. Hey, you see the rebound goes back up and uh, just uh, draws a foul, but uh, you got to complete the play then at this point. Babcock's next one, and oh, he missed mercy. two of them. Rebound is kept alive, but uh, finally controlled now by Newcastle as Brian Davis is on the floor for the Trojans as they go to the bench for the first time to Miller. Tabor's got it on a drive inside. Fire went up. That's off the mark. And the rebound finally controlled by McCracken to Paoli. To Sibbett. I was talking to Coach Brown last evening also, and he was telling me this group, you know, obviously you hear about Combs and Sibbett all the time, but they have eight seniors that have been playing together for the last, uh, since they've been seventh graders, and now McCracken's in, and he's defending a 6'8 player, and he's very aggressive also, so they're not a two-man team by any means. And Tool just scored that moments ago for Paoli with a tough, high-hanging 14-foot jump shot, his fourth point in the game. As uh, Newcastle down by five points at eight to three. Miller inside of England, we got a whistle to foul as England and Combs were going at it down low, and they got to England on the push-off inside. And on Eric England now, that'll be his second and team foul number three. So the foul called on England, and stops the clock with 3.32 to play in the first quarter. It's 8-3 to three with Paoli on top of Newcastle by five. And we'll be back with more of our coverage of the Marsh Hall of Fame Basketball Classic right after we pause now for these messages.
The Marsh Hall of Fame Classic is also sponsored in part by Snedeker's on Broad Street in Newcastle. Eight to three, your score with Paoli on top of Newcastle by five. And uh, so far for Paoli, although they have the five-point lead, guys, uh, Combs has uh, only two free throws, and Simmons is yet to score, but it's uh, some of the other players that are stepping front and center. Well, like we talked about, they have very good supporting cast, and I think uh, what, something really significant is Newcastle with only three points. Uh, Paoli's full-court pressure defense really has uh, not allowed Newcastle to get set in their half-court offense once they get the ball into the front court, so that's really uh, kind of uh, caused them some problems so far in the ballgame. Newcastle came in averaging nearly 68 points per ballgame, a high-scoring team. Trojans on defense now in their man-to-man. -man. They've matched down with Paola now. They brought in uh, forward uh, number 22 and then put on him in the guard position, so Brian Davis has taken over for uh, Chad Berry, so now they match up a little bit more size-wise with Paola. Payol and Kyle Huckabee obviously can play low post defense, but he's a very good low post player. Miller's going to be called for the charge. He faked the three, cut inside, runs into McCracken and commits the charge. On Scott Miller is first and team foul number four. We're seeing that good early tough defense of Paoli. There you see uh, McCracken sliding over to draw the charge. Really impressed with Paoli's defense. Very fundamentally sound. Do a good job of recognizing where the ball is, helping one another out, and, and they get good position. Doing a super job so far in the defensive end. They allow teams only 45 points per ball game against them. They outscore their opposition by 24 per game. McCracken, ball deflected, stolen Tabor. One of the few fast break opportunities for Newcastle. Tabor cuts inside, fires up a runner that's no good. Oh, Huckabee with a strong rebound, and Muscles went up no, but drew the foul. And Kyle Huckabee will go to Newcastle's foul line for two shots with 2.38 to play first quarter, 8-3 to three Paoli. Huckabee's are averaging six rebounds a game, and he's a very good offensive rebounder. See, he gets inside, and now when he goes up, he goes up strong. And that's what you like to see that player try to complete that three-point play, and he just barely missed on that. Huckabee has the Newcastle three points of the game. He is one for two for the foul line. That foul was called on Scott Combs. On Combs, that's his first and team foul number three as Huckabee misses again from the line. Kyle's a really strong player, 6'3", and, and a, playing a guard position. Well, when you can get six rebounds a game out of one of your guard spots, that really helps, up, helps the front line take some of the pressure off of them. Second one is too strong. Combs rebounds to Sibbett. Four court to Babcock. Now to McCracken. Trying to get Sibbett free for some outside shots. He's attempted only one shot of the ball. Game. Miller's done a nice job playing Sibbett man-on-man. This early morning must be affecting our free throw shooting. Here's an 81% shooter <laughs> missing two and a uh, 100% shooter from Paola missing one. There's a long one by Babcock that's no good. McCracken tips no good and Huckabee rebounds and just threw the outlet pass away. Bob Miller would be streaking down the floor and said Scott pulled up and uh, cut back toward him. Some miscommunication there and thus uh, the turnover. The only basketball, 2.07 to play first quarter. Six-foot senior guard Joe Sibbett, team's second-leading scorer at over 16 per ball game, brings it up the floor. It's a pick out front. There's Combs operating down low. Tough shot up and in. He hit it over the big 6'8 center. Chad Berry inside. Combs' his first field going. Four points in the ball game. And the press. Another turnover, Newcastle. Combs with the errant pass. Down the floor, Babcock. Rough pass inside to McCracken. Knocked away. McCracken saves it in bounds with a nifty behind-the-back pass. And Paoli goes into its half court with a minute and a half to go in the first. Sibbett, great pick and roll inside. Combs shot up no and a charge called on Combs and that's his second. Nice two-man game right then. Sibbett and Combs on a pick and roll and nice bounce pass but excellent defense by Newcastle taking the charge. Defense has been the story so far in this one. There you see the charge. It'll be interesting to see how long Mike Brown goes with Combs this early in the ball game with two fouls. Chad Tabor took the charge. Ryan Davis with a nice spin move away from Tool in the forecourt to Miller. Here's Huckabee, loves it down low. Muscles it up and in again. He's got all five of their points, 10 to five with 109 to play first quarter, pay only by five. Kyle Huckabee's an excellent low post player, as I mentioned in the early broadcast, but uh, he can play inside and out, and it takes an all round player to defend him. Babcock missed a long one. Battle for the rebound goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Rams, so it will be Newcastle ball with 56 seconds to play in the opening quarter. Barry will inbound to Tabor. 
They switched into a 2-2-1 zone press now, so after a field or a turnover now, they went into the 2-2-1, and they were in the 1-2-1-1 one, one after scores. So they try to trap at the 10-second line. And Tabor just traveled. Triple seemed as he crossed the timeline, was in no man's land at a very tough spot and walked. As Newcastle getting set to go to the bench, and Jeff Milliken will check in the Trojan lineup. Tabor goes out. 45 to play first quarter. See how Paoli plays it here as the inbound to Babcock. These are two excellent guards going at each other with Miller and Sibbett, uh, two very good guards. I thought Miller last year was one of the better guards in the conference, especially as a sophomore, and he's improved this year, and it's giving Sibbett a real challenge. Tough shot hit by Tool, falling away from the basket, and uh, floats went in off the baseline, his sixth point of the game. It's 12 to 5. Miller is uh, tripped in the backcourt, and we got a whistle and a foul called on Paoli. So the Rams foul with 24 seconds to play in the first quarter. On uh, Paoli, that'll be team foul number five. And this one will be whistled on Jason McCracken. That's his first. Well, that's the one thing you really want to try to stay away from. You see the foul there, uh, picking up the foul 80 feet from the basket there. Is, uh, that's one of the dangers when you're pressing full court like this for the whole ball game. Miller double team, dangerous pass down the floor to Huckabee. Huckabee races to the basket. Try to cut a pass inside, but threw it behind the intended uh, man underneath the bucket, Milliken, and threw it away. Another Newcastle turnover. Paoli with the ball now with 15 to play in the quarter, leading by seven. Paoli showed another press then. They showed a denial press, so they played a 1-2-1-1, one, 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 a 2-2-1, two, two, and now they went with a denial press, so they really put a lot of full-court pressure on you. Pivot with five, with four, trying to get a screen to get a shot away. With three, they're not going to get the shot. He fires one up. That will count if it goes, but it's short. No good. So the buzzer sounds ending the first quarter of play. After one, it's Paoli in front of Newcastle, the low-scoring ball game, 12 to 5. And we'll be back with second quarter play-by-play -play action from Newcastle's Christ Arena right after these messages. Greg Bell, Basil Bobby, Brian Alexander back with you. The Marsh Hall of Fame Basketball Classic, the 17th annual this year again at Newcastle's Christ Arena. And in game number one, it's Paoli in front of Newcastle 12 to 5. East Noble and Vincennes will follow this one with the championship game coming up at 8 o'clock tonight. It will be Paoli basketball to open up the second quarter. The Rams are ranked fourth in the Associated Press poll and fifth in the coaches poll. A highly regarded undefeated basketball team, and they're showing why early on here in this one, playing some great defense with that seven-point lead with the basketball is Babcock. Combs flashes out to the baseline. Nice baseline move, fires and scores. Two more for Scott Combs. He's got six points in the ballgame. 
show the great body control along the baseline. There's the full court press, but Newcastle breaks it three on one. Huckabee all the way, left-handed layup is up and in. They really did a nice job of running their press breaker. I'm sure uh, Coach Alford talked about that during the timeout. They really executed well and got the shot they wanted, obviously. Huckabee has done all the scoring for Newcastle. He's got all seven Trojan points. They trail by seven at 14-7. The Kraken pops out top of the key, goes to Sibbett. Sibbett's been quiet so far. Miller's done a nice job on him. Sibbett has yet to score. Combs bobbles down low. Ball goes out of bounds. The last touch by Combs and Paoli for Newcastle basketball. While Sibbett has been quiet for Paoli, Barry, a high score for Newcastle, has been shut out as well. A collapsing Paoli defense inside has done a nice job of shutting uh, the two big 6-8 players down. Miller gets it inside. Huckabee. Oh, tough shot. Had the ball deflected as he went up and still got control and fire went up and in. Yeah, Pe Paoli came out of their uh, full court pressure that time, went into the half court defense, and Newcastle was able to get set uh, and get a little better shot on the half court. Huckabee single handedly getting Newcastle back in the ball game. He scored all nine points. Two old. Except by Brian Davis out front. That's all the way inside. They speed the Babcock. Out of Sibbett. Good defense by Newcastle. Did an excellent job of keeping the perimeter uh, outside shots covered for Sibbett, but also covering inside double teaming cones. So great defense by Newcastle also. Tremendous defensive play. Sliding out of the floor with Davis ahead to Milligan as he came up with a steal for Newcastle. The ball was knocked away and out of bounds. The last touch by Paoli, so it will be Newcastle ball. Brian Davis to inbound to Huckabee. Combs is on him. Combs playing with two personal fouls. I think Coach uh, Alford, if he saw that, might have been a little clear out right there and see what Huckabee could have done to Combs right there. With those two fouls, I don't think he could have really challenged him too much defensively. Lob pass inside to Barry, and uh, Barry frustrated one more time as he's called for the traveling violation right underneath the basket. Both the big men for Baylor with two fouls, and I think right now that's maybe why they went out of their full court pressure trying to eat up a few minutes without causing any possibilities because the last time they had King one-on-one -on -one and uh, Huckabee just took it in because he had two fouls. With Combs two fouls also, their big men are in trouble. Two isolated one-on-one -on -one now with Milligan. Takes him inside, jump shoots, and will score again. Two more for Kelly Toole, who's been the offensive standout early on in this one for Fioli. He's got eight points on four field goals. He came in averaging 9.5. Huckabee in the forecourt right side for Newcastle. Davis has it off the baseline. Out front to Miller. 16-9, Paoli, 5.20 to play first half. Milliken. Davis, Miller, inside Barry. Quick turnaround, no. Combs rebounds, Paoli, and out the goes to Sibbett. Nice defense there. They had a little bit of body on Barry, and then when he went up, he was just a little bit out of his position, and uh, another miss. So great defense by Paola inside. They're only sending a lot of picks outside, trying to free up Sibbett, but Miller's been able to get through. Now Sibbett creates and shoots one off the back of the rim, but does draw the foul. It is called on Scott Miller. That'll be his second, and Joe Sibbett will go to Paoli's foul line for two shots. Sibbett's going to Austin P next year to play his collegiate basketball. Scott Combs is on his way to Missouri, and Sibbett at the line for two. Yet to score in the ball game, but his team leads by seven with 4.53 to play in the first half. Now we'll see if the free throw shooting comes around. Now Sibbett's on a 78% free throw shooter. So some outstanding free throw shooters on both teams. And uh, maybe just a little bit uptight so far today. Eric Anglin in the ball game for Newcastle. And check it in for Paoli as Dean Lind. I've been impressed with Kelly Tulis coming out right now. He's done a great job, as you mentioned, with eight points. And he's a 50% field goal shooter, though, for the year. So he's a good player also. And one of those eight seniors that Coach Brown was talking about. Sibbett's first free throw, no good. Here's Sibbett, a 78% foul shooter on the season, misfiring on his first opportunity. Another Newcastle substitution as Josh Estill will check in the contest. And going out will be Miller. Coach Brown was very proud of this team. You know, they're 64 and 12 through their high school career. And you add on the eight victories for this year. Now they're up to 72 and 12, so about 87%. So just a real great group of seniors and winners for Paola. Newcastle handles the pressure well without their point guard in the ballgame. Miller on the bench with a couple of personal fouls. Estill. 
Sets up the half court. Looks like Paoli's gone zone. 2-3 zone right now, trying to help the foul trouble a little bit. Here goes King with a nice double team with the stall and the steal. And the ball was uh, intercepted by Lind to Sibbett. Long down the floor to Combs. Oh, great inside pass to McCracken. Can't convert in underneath the basket. And Davis has the rebound to Castle. Huckabee out high the right side. Davis swings the pass. Estill left wide open, but overshot the three from 20. And the rebound, Linda Sivet. Estill's only a sophomore. He's a very good shooter, though. And uh, he came in and uh, had his three-point shot, and he put it up. I think he's three for nine this year. Just a little bit of nervousness that first time for the sophomore. Estill gets the screen outside. Out of Babcock at the top of the key. Sivet will let fly with an NBA three that's short. Esther goes to the floor. A wild scramble for the loose ball. Finally Combs, he can't handle it. Hot potato, finally Combs inside to McCracken. Ball knocked away. Finally controlled, Esther races down the floor. Two on one with Huckabee. Huckabee inside for the layup. No, but a win for the foul call on Babcock. Great Ooh. pass by Estill. That's a great pass for the sophomore. He just made the defense commit to him. And a little soft bounce pass to Huckabee for the lay-in. And that's what you like to see at the end of your fast break. A nice bounce pass to the wing player coming in. Lay it in. So great pass for the sophomore. Really good hustle by both teams. Both teams playing very hard. Uh, not executing particularly well at this point. But playing hard. And that's what you want out of your kids. Two free throws coming up for Kyle Huckabee. Huckabee with nine points in the game. His first free throw is up and good. You see the shot going up, and uh, both teams really going at it. You got kids on the floor from both teams. When it's a loose ball, I love to see the players go down to the floor. You see so many of them try to reach for it. All of a sudden, it's deflecting. You get nothing out of it. At least try to get a jump ball out of it when the ball's on the floor. Huckabee hits a couple from the line. 3.25 to play first half. Time out of the floor. Paoli leads by six over Newcastle at 17 to 11. Back with more of the Hall of Fame Basketball Classic right after these messages. Marsh Hall of Fame Classic is also sponsored in part by Snedeker's on Broad Street in Newcastle. 3.25 to play first half. It's 17 to 11 with Paoli in front of Newcastle by six points. The first of two opening round ball games in this year's Marsh Hall of Fame Basketball Classic. It'll be followed by Vincennes going up against East Noble in game number two. Then the championship ball game coming up tonight at 8 o'clock. All the action from here at Newcastle's Chrysler Arena. And the uh, guys, the jinx is still on. A team, uh, this being the 17th annual Hall of Fame Classic, a team has never won the Hall of Fame Classic and gone on to win the state championship. Although two of the last uh, three years, teams that have been involved in the Hall of Fame Classic have won the state title, but have not won this particular tournament. Well, I, you know, I think that'll eventually be broken. You know, when you take a pick for the preseason favorites for the state tournament, eventually you're going to get one of them that'll go through it. But that really proves how hard it is to win the state championship in Indiana. 383 schools all in one class and it's very very difficult and challenging tournament anderson uh, won it last year of course jefferson was, was here they were the eventual state champ and three years ago gary roosevelt didn't win it martinsville did but uh, gary went on to win the state title the only basketball for kraken to babcock motion offense paoli against the newcastle man they got civet open as he fires a long one no but has fouled the active shooting from three and he might get three free throws as milliken ran into him 
Well, they're instructed to run out hard on Sibbett. He's got 23-point field goals down the season. And that time they did a little bit too aggressive, though, as Milliken fouls his first and Sibbett to the foul line for three shots for Paoli. Well, and Sibbett used a nice screen to get himself open back there behind the three-point arc and uh, a little over-aggressive going after the uh, shooter on the shot. But, uh, boy, that was a nice screen that was set in there to get him open. Tippett hit the game-winning shot a couple weeks ago in the shootout for Paoli. A two-point victory over a team from Illinois as the first free throw is good. You know, Chicago Westinghouse is, you know, a very, very strong basketball team. And for Paola to upgrade their schedule, put them on, it's really helped them. And obviously this is a year they want to get to that uh, Hoosier Dome and play for that state championship. Tippett has hit two in a row. He's now three for four for the foul line. He's without a field goal, three points of the game. Next foul shot, good again. Beautiful stroke there, nice free throw technique, and as you can see, he's obviously a very good three-point shooter, also shooting 38%, so you have to get out on him and uh, defending from all areas. He only leads by nine, 20 to 11 with 303. Press broken and now a traveling violation right at the timeline called on Newcastle as Rodney Berry in the ball game and he walks with the ball and Paoli with possession with exactly three minutes to play in the first half. Paoli picking up the pressure full court there back to a full court, one, two, one, one. They've been in a, about a three quarter court, two, two, one. So picked up the pressure again defensively full court. Saw a picture of Mike Brown uh, kneeling in front of that Paoli bench. He has really been into this one today. Combs on a baseline move. Will fire and score. Two more for Scott Combs. He's got eight first half points. The score is doubled. Paoli now on top of Newcastle by 11. I like Paola's pressure defense. They really don't get up there where they're really going to commit a lot of fouls and give you lay-ins. But they always got a little pressure on you. You have to make the correct play. So excellent defense by Paola with their great half court. Yeah, and nice, so nice box out there by Gabe King. Paola really a fundamentally sound basketball team. Very impressed with their play so far. Combs will let fly with a long one. That is no good as he misses the three. Got his own oh. rebound. Almost number three. Two will fire a baseline air ball that's no good. And Huckabee with a long rebound. He races down with Estill two on one. Kyle all the way in for the scoop shot that's up and in. Huckabee has scored all of Newcastle's points. He has 13 points in the game. The Trojans have 13. They trail by nine, 22-13 with 155 to play in the first half. I don't know if I've ever seen a first half in which one player scored all of his team's points, but that's the case so far for Newcastle. Tools on a drive, nice help off defense there, double teamed, and uh, a reach and foul now will be called on the Trojans. This one's whistled on Huckabee, and that's his second. That's team foul number seven, one and one for Paoli with a minute 43 left. At the foul line will be... Sibbett looked like he was going yeah, in there, but I think <laughs> it's going to be Tool. Yeah, Tool's a 42% foul shooter. Sibbett's at 78, so you know Paoli would love to have Sibbett up on the line, but it is Tool who was fouled and will go to the stripe. He has eight points in the game on four field goals. He's yet to attempt a free throw. I've been against teams that will put the wrong shooter on, but it always seems to jinx them, so I, I never tried that in my 29 years, so it looked like they might be trying it right there, but obviously went with the right free throw shooter. Free throw is missed. England got the rebound, and the foul was called. The foul's whistled on Gabe King. And on King, that's his third. He'll walk down to the other foul line now. One and one for Newcastle with 142 left in the first half. Jason McCracken re-entering the lineup. A very aggressive uh, senior. Does a great job in his low post defense. And good to see this balance that Coach Brown has on the Paola team. King has the line for the one and one. Free throw, good. Finally, somebody other than Kyle Huckabee has scored for Newcastle here in the first half. After Huckabee scores the first 13, a foul shot hit by England to make it 22-14. And the next one up and good again. Substitution as Chad Berry will check back in the Trojan lineup and England goes out. Look at England as Joe Sibbett brings the ball to the floor for Paoli. Aggressive man-to-man yeah. for Newcastle. They're really forced in that baseline drive. And Tool was fouled. Caver tried to draw the charge, but the block is called. Tool will go back to the foul line for two shots. That foul on Caver is his first. Here's Tool just driving on the baseline here. 
as uh, Newcastle slides over. Not, uh, not quite able to get position. Pretty good defensive play, but uh, not quite set before Tool goes up for the shot. We couldn't see his feet, but boy, it looked like he hit him right in the middle of the chest from the upper body, so we couldn't see the whole movement of his feet, but looked like pretty good defense. Tool, first free throw is good. A slashy type of player. Strong drives to the basket. Boy, this is a kid you hear so much about Sibbett and Combs, but this is a kid that uh, you've got to have players like uh, Kelly Tool because you know he's the one that complements your uh, your blue chip players so well and, and really makes you an outstanding basketball team. Tool's next one is good. He leads Paoli in scoring today with 10. And the Rams up by nine and pressing. Rodney Berry. Got two berries in the ball game now, Rodney and Chad, but here's Huckabee on a drive inside, and he just traveled the basketball after losing the ball inside. Nice help defense by Sibbett there. He dropped in, just got a little piece of it, and when you're in that traffic, it's very difficult to get through there without getting that ball deflected. Only five field goals in the first half for Newcastle. Sibbett across the midcourt double rings. Estill's on him. The pick outside from Tool. Try to drop it down low. Combs controls and now it's tied up. Good work by Tabor and uh, may have caught uh, either an elbow or a shoulder to the face. A really nice team defense that time by Newcastle. Combs got the ball in the low post. They had him triple team. He wasn't going to go anywhere with the basketball. Brian Davis will check in the ball game for Newcastle and Huckabee goes down to Sam Alford not to wanting to risk Huckabee picking up his third personal foul here at the end of the first half. Here's the denial defense, almost got the five count. Tabor bringing the ball up the floor to Davis. Tabor with a minute to go. Back to their 2 3 zone. Tabor's open for a three pointer from the left side. And the long rebound taken down by the quick Joe Sibbett. He crosses the line with 40 seconds to play. Quick crossover move and the pull-up jump shot. That's good. Sweet move there by Sibbett. Well, a really nice pull-up jump shot. That's, that's a great play if, you, if you've got that in your arsenal for a guard. Driving the basket hard, able to stop on a dime, go straight up and shoot the jumper. He only leads by 11. Their fans across the way come to their feet. This ties the biggest lead in the ball game. Rams by 11. Newcastle playing for one. As you see, the clock winding down with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Coach Brown switched to 1-2-2 two, two zone now, which gives you better perimeter defense. But still got it open to Estill. Not the shot they wanted to happen. Well, that's still uh, three times as a charm as he's finally able to get a long one to go, and the shot put up on the buzzer, no good. So a three-pointer by Josh Estill right at the end of the first half of play brings Newcastle to within eight. 26-18, to 18, the halftime score. So 26-18, Paoli leads Newcastle by eight. And back with our halftime festivities from here at Newcastle right after this. The Marsh Hall of Fame Classic on TV40 is brought to you in part by Schoolhouse of Educated Wicker, McCool's Carpet Outlet, Gowdy Brothers Boilers, Marsh Supermarkets, Newcastle Ford Lincoln Mercury, Wealthy Windows, Video Land, Schaffner's Kitchen Distributors, and Philip Stewart and Associates.
at the half of the opening ball game of the 1993 Marsh Hall of Fame Basketball Classic. It is Paoli on top of Newcastle, 26-18. to 18. Greg Bell joined by coaches uh, Brian Alexander and Basil Mobby. And coaches, I don't know what you think, but uh, not a scoreboard here. You'd think Paoli is up by 20 points, but yet you look up there and it's Newcastle to within eight points. Well, that was a big play, the last play of the quarter when Estill hit that three-pointer. You know, 11 and 8 is a lot of difference. And also, now you got a little bit of momentum to build on when you're talking at halftime. So that was a big basket for the sophomore. And Coach Brown played it perfect. He went to a perimeter defense, and all of a sudden one player sucked in too far, and they got a wide-open three. So a great play at the end of the quarter by Newcastle. Brian, your thoughts on the first half? Well, I've just really been impressed uh, more than anything with uh, Paola's defense. You know, Newcastle's an outstanding basketball team. They're averaging 68 points a game, and then Paola's held them to 18 here. Uh, Paola's very aggressive defensively, both in the full court and the half court. They do a nice job of recognizing where the ball is. They help out. They move. They slide over, get good position. They box out to complete the defensive possession. So just an outstanding defensive effort by Paola. Uh, Newcastle, you know, they're going to come out in the second half. I'm sure that... Uh, Sam Alford's talking uh, right now about getting other people involved offensively other than, uh, than Huckabee, and, and you know they're going to come out with much more balanced offensive game. They've got to cut down their turnovers a little bit, and uh, they'll get themselves right back in the ballgame. So it's Paoli by eight at the half, and Howard Kelman will talk with Ron Newland of the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame right after these messages. Talking with Ron Newland, the executive director of the Indiana. Talking with Ron Newland, the executive director of the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame. Ron, tell us about the Basketball Hall of Fame here. Well, just like this is the fourth Marsh Hall of Fame Classic here in the world's largest high school field house, we're in our fourth year of operating the world's finest high school sports museum, the Hall of Fame Museum right next door here in Newcastle. Tell us how to get here. Well, we're just north of Interstate 70, we're less than an hour east of Indianapolis, second stoplight north of 70 on the Newcastle exit. You can't miss us. Make a right turn or a left turn right where that shell station is. Right turn at the light, and then we're at the top of the hill. You know, you talk about the Basketball Hall of Fame here, and you've got some pretty pretty uh, impressive people in there already. You know, when you look at the people that this state has produced, going back to John Wooden and Branch McCracken through Oscar Robertson and Larry Bird, you know, we're about Indiana basketball history, and there's no state in the union that can claim what Indiana can. You'll have several people being inducted this year as well. Our sentence going up against East Noble. The two winners will come back to play for the championship tonight at 8 o'clock. Newcastle coming into play today with a record of 8-2, 16th in one poll, 22nd in the other. They only at 8-0, 4th in uh, the Associated Press poll, and 5th in the coaches' poll. 
It will be Paoli basketball as Tool plays it inbounds to Stibbett. The Rams point guard brings the ball up the floor, met by Miller. Lynn's got an opening along the baseline, but though Barry shuts it off in a hurry and forced to send it back outside to Tool. Newcastle's really forcing you to drive towards the baseline and then the center will step up and double things. So you really have to reverse the ball quickly and get it to the weak side. So a good job here of defensively by Newcastle. Pale is handling the ball, taking their time and working it, eventually hoping to break the defense down. Combs will let fly with a baseline. Jeff shot and scores. He can go outside and score as he just showed there with about a 14-footer off the left baseline. He's in double figures with 10. He averages 20.5 and Paoli leads it by 10. Well, Coach Alexander and I were kind of talking about whether we would take out Combs with those two fouls at the end of the first quarter. Well, Coach Brown made the right decision, I believe. He got him through that whole quarter. And being a National Honor Society, Scott uh, Combs played very smart in that whole uh, second quarter. Miller takes the three, goes to England. He'll let fly with a baseline jumper. That rimmed out, and Combs rebounds Paoli. Liberty Newcastle to only one shot uh, down the floor each trip. Combs cuts inside. All good quick hands from behind. Uh, the ball deflected away and knocked out of bounds. It will stay with Paoli. You mentioned Combs being a National Honor Society student. Also scored over 1,200 on his SAT test. So very intelligent player. He'll play for the Mizzou Tigers next year. Inbounds. Combs all great block. Barry made a tremendous block coming from nowhere to reject the Combs shot inside. And Huckabee has it for Newcastle. Miller lets fly with a long bomb. It's no good. England rebounds. Miller, so they're able to get a rare offensive rebound. Miller's been shooting the ball very well from the three-point line, and uh, that really opens their game up when he can start shooting from out, and so you can't double down on those two six-eight players. He'll try to get Barry on track, but uh, they turn the ball over for the 13th time as Stibbett comes up with the Aaron Toss inside, and he's got the ball in the forecourt for Paoli. And the baseline jumpers an air ball. Good defense. Tabor's got the rebound. And Huckabee long down the floor. Huckabee's got the ball inside for the layup. That's good. And we get the basket counts and also a foul called on Paoli. So Kyle Huckabee with 15 points will go to the free throw line now for a chance at point number 16. There you see the block by Barry. And uh, Newcastle gets the ball. Nice look down the floor to find Huckabee open. He takes it in strong. Very few times, obviously, Scott Combs is going to run up against the player. It's going to put back his power lay in, and uh, great defense there by Barry. That's a four point swing. That block by Barry prevents uh, Combs from getting the easy two at one end, and they score the other way. And uh, the free throw rimmed out, no good, but a strong rebound inside Tabor. His shot is blocked by McCracken, and McCracken tosses it out now to Miller. So Newcastle has the ball down by eight. Maybe make this a four point play plus the two. Tabor left open for the free throw line jump shot. Combs with a rebound, Paoli. Easy, Miller's back in right now, and he's played so great a defense on Sibbett. I think uh, he got a little bit of rest there, and they got a little bit of time for him to get some, his legs back, and he's going to make it tough on Joe Sibbett all day. He's really playing pressure defense. Trying to deny Sibbett the basketball, though Sibbett's got it now isolated on Miller. Cuts inside, but there's the helping defense by Tabor. Ball rolls out to Lynn, covered up by Huckabee. Knocked away, stolen by Brian Davis. And Davis for Newcastle. Miller, not a Huckabee, drives to the basket, whistle, charge call on Huckabee as he lowered his shoulder and charges into a Paoli defender. And now we get a technical foul as well, called on Newcastle. So a third personal foul picked up by Huckabee. Looks like a binary uh, halfback going through there. He put that shoulder down a little bit strong, but a good defense by Paolo. Here's Huckabee. Well, you see the replay as Huckabee just lowers the shoulder and goes straight in. I don't know who the technical was on. I but, think it uh, called on Huckabee as well, and that'll be a personal foul, so he's got four down the ball game. Foul. So that's, that's a really, uh, you know, not a real smart play there. I don't, you know, I don't know what was said or uh, what caused the technical, but boy, that, that really hurts Newcastle for him to pick up that fourth foul. That rule change really makes that technical a double-edged sword when it used to be. You'd give maybe a free throw. Now it's two free throws, plus a personal foul, plus the ball out of bounds. So it's really uh, a really valuable asset for the team that keeps their head not to get in that trouble. So Kyle Huckabee on the Newcastle bench with four personal fouls. He has scored 15 of their 20 points in the ball game. Both technical free throws were hit by Joe Sibbett. It gives Paoli a 10-point lead at 30 to 20. And the Rams also own the basketball with 514 to play third quarter. That could have been the big point in this ball game moments ago with Huckabee picking up the personal, then the tech. Sibbett and Combs, they love to play that two-man game. 
if you switch it, you got your uh, five man playing on the point guard, so it's a tough, uh, tough offensive play to defend. Try the back door to Combs. He was open, but the pass was errant by Tool. And Miller has the ball. Defender falls down, but Miller misses the outside jump shot. Rebound. England tries to save. Lost it out of bounds, and it will be Paoli basketball. 4.46 to play third quarter. 30-20. Paoli on top of Newcastle by 10. Both ball clubs well under their offensive averages on the season. Paoli came in at 69, and Newcastle at 67.5. There have been only 50 points uh, put up on the board. We have only about four and a half minutes to play in the third. Here's an isolation play on the left side. Now Lynn driving on Davis, and the foul committed. The hold on Brian Davis will be his first. Common foul, they only to take the ball out of bounds. If you probably look at this score, you'd probably think there was a team that was really slowing it down, but most of the shots are coming up fairly quickly. Uh, everyone's aggressive, but uh, it's just great defense. Tibbet, inbound, shot up, no. But Sewell was fouled. He'll go to the Paoli free throw line for two shots. A chance to give his ball club a 12-point lead. Newcastle played good defense there, and uh, just a little bit over-aggressiveness out of Tabor went after the ball. Really, they had him cut off. It was going to be a very difficult shot. But whenever you block a shot and come down with your hand over the body, almost every time, personal foul. I think Newcastle may be getting a little bit frustrated, too, and... You know, making a play defensively that they shouldn't be making, as you said, trying to block a shot when they had had the good defensive play made. So they're, they're, they're going to have to take that frustration out in a positive way, in, in good positive aggressiveness, and not in something that uh, they really shouldn't be doing. Free throw good by Tool. He's got 11 points. He has 11 combs with 10 and Sibbett with 8. Chanberry held scoreless so far in the ballgame, checking back in the lineup. The big 6'8 uh, senior center averaging 17 points per ball game on the season has been shut out so far. One more free throw by Tool. Well, they got the Twin Towers back in again and see if they can execute a little bit better than they did in the first half. Tool's next one is good. Well, foul shots by Tool giving him 12 on the day. Substitution as Jason McCracken will check back in the ball game and going out will be Gabe King. Back with the denial press, trying to get a five count. England able to run the baseline, following the made free throw to Davis. Now to Miller. Miller with some nifty ball handling. His pull-up jump shot is good. So Scott Miller breaks into the scoring column with the pull-up 15-foot foul line jump shot. Awful good defense by Sibbett, but just an equally good play by Miller to stick the jumper at 15. That's a very tough play, as Coach Alexander was talking about. If you can penetrate, beat your man, get to 15 foot, it really breaks the defense down. Tool wants Combs with a lob inside, knocked away England, but Combs controls reverses the score. Well, he really did a nice job of handling that pass, being able to catch it, get himself under control, and make the reverse layup. That was pretty good defense. England had a nice front on him, made him throw a very tough pass, made him fumble it, but he caught it, put it back, and uh, reverse lay into the basket. Great job by Scott Cohn. Got the ball down inside to Barry, but he walks. And with 3.43 to play here in the third quarter, we're going to get, uh, well, let's see, we're going to get a stoppage of play. So 34-22, Paoli leads Newcastle by 12. 3.43 to play here in the third quarter. And with the break of the action, let's pause now for the message. Yeah, that's got to be the lob inside. Uh, yeah. Good second effort. Paoli has outscored Newcastle 8-4 in quarter number three to up their eight-point halftime lead to 12 at 34-22, and this is one of the reasons why. Well, there you see a nice pass, but even better catch uh, as 
Combs bobbles the ball first time. Good second effort. As Bezos said, good defense by Newcastle. But Combs just makes a nice play, gets the reverse layup. It is Paoli basketball. As Combs plays it inbounds to Sibbett. Three players for Paoli have scored all but uh, two of their points. Tool with 12, Combs with 12, and Sibbett with eight. Gabe King, the only other player who has scored with two. A lot of role players on this Paoli team, but here's one of their scores. Combs inside, missed the shot, but was fouled as they rubbed him off a pick down low and was able to get to the good position inside. Missed the shot, but was fouled. Fouls whistled on Anglet, his third, and Combs to Paoli's foul line for two shots. This is a nice play, a nice reverse action. They get to, uh, Combs on the baseline cut, and all of a sudden he's got there in that power lay-in, and he's awfully tough to stop inside the paint. Well, he was a great AU basketball player at a very young age. They knew he was going to be a good one. Turned out to be outstanding. Scott Combs hits the foul shot. Now with 13 in the ball game, five here in the third. Close up look at the 6'7 senior. Next one is good again. Paoli making good at the foul line here in the third quarter. There's six for six for the line. Paoli back to 2 2 1 again. 14-point lead, Paoli's biggest in the ballgame with 3.15 to play third quarter. Newcastle in need of somebody to step up and give him some scoring punch with Huckabee on the bench with four fouls. England inside, can't hit. Tipped off, oh, that almost went in, and, and uh, Combs rebounds and leads a three-on-one fast break. Inside to Sibbett, great look off to Tool, shot up, no, but a whistle to foul called. That foul whistled on Newcastle's Brian Davis. Nice execution of a three-on-one fast break by Newcastle, and Tool will go to the line now for two shots for Paoli. Just put the ball right under the defense. Nice bounce pass. Two different bounce passes, and Sibbett a nice, soft bounce pass for the lane. Well, he saw some of the ball handling skills, too. Scott Combs with 6'7", uh, taking the point on the fast break. A lot of players would have kept the ball in their hands and probably got a charge at the end, but Combs played it very smart, passed it to the left, back to the right for the lay-in. Two shots for Toole. Newcastle goes to the bench. Chris Bell will check in the lineup for the first time today for the Trojans. Kyle Huckabee has scored 15 of Newcastle's 22 points, but he is saddled on the Trojan bench with four personal fouls. Toole's first free throw is up and no good. Four for six for the foul line today with 12 points. Above his seasonal scoring average came in averaging 9.5. Babcock will check in as Lynn goes out. I'm impressed this Paola crowd. Looks like everybody from Paola here today. Uh, excellent support of their basketball team. They have a great new gymnasium built probably about 15, 20 years ago and has a sectional there. And uh, just real proud of their basketball there in Paola. Southern Indiana very strong this year. We're looking at two of the powerhouses in Southern Indiana today and uh, Paoli and coming up in Sens, but also you got Jeffersonville and New Albany, some outstanding teams in the South this year. Newcastle handles uh, the press well. Davis to Miller. Miller looking for the shot. 2-3 zone by Paoli. Perry with a rare shot that uh, just won't go for him and the rebound taken down by Combs. It's a tool. He may have walked, and he did. Traveling violation called on Tool of Paoli. Ball goes over to Newcastle. Paoli with a 15-point lead with 2.34 to play in the third quarter. Well, I think what you said, Greg, is that, that was a rare shot for Chad Berry. It's significant, and they've got to get him more involved in the offense. Very slowly bringing the ball up the floor. Davis and Miller. They're really trying to jam the middle of that press offense to, to try to get it out of there, and then they put the trap on at the sideline. Ball knocked around and finally controlled. Paoli inside. Tool misses the driving layup. And we got a whistle now. A foul will be called. As the rebound was taken down by Brian Davis and a foul called on Paoli. Excellent opportunity there. Good defense. Newcastle didn't give up. Got the ball back after the turnover. Babcock whistled on the foul. 15 points. Paoli lead. 2.15 to play third quarter. Davis spinning backcourt to Miller. Davis brings the ball up the floor. High post to Milliken, right side to Miller for the three-pointer. That's good. A, a two-pointer. His foot was on the line, so only a two-pointer for Scott Miller. We've had uh, only one three-point field goal so far in the ballgame. That hit by Estill right at the end of the first half of play. 
Of course, uh, here in the Hall of Fame, we've seen some great three-point shooters the last couple of years, and Kojak Fuller and Randy Zachary really put out a three-point show. So far, it's been mainly inside stuff today, although Combs had a notion to pop the three, cuts inside, and gets a give-and-go inside. Layup is good. Basket counts and a foul. Pretty give-and-go between Babcock and Combs, who hits the shot and also draws the foul. That's just really pretty basketball. I really enjoy watching Paoli play as they execute on the half court. And uh, as you said, the give and go, the pass to Babcock, right back to Combs. He makes a nice cut and a uh, chance for the three-point play. Let's see this defense here. Look like a pretty good defense, too. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I we'll have to look at the feet here. I don't know. I'm glad I'm not a referee. I certainly wouldn't want to make those decisions. Combs with 16 now in the game. One free throw coming up for Scott. 39-24, Paoli by 15. Combs' foul shot is good. 40-24, the Rams by 16. Newcastle, ball knocked away, stolen again. The Trojans, another turnover. That has just killed them today. They've gotten very few offensive opportunities because they haven't been able to take care of the basketball. Combs from the outside scores again. Combs is red hot now, having a big quarter. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven third quarter points. 19 now in the ball game, and Paoli has opened it up to an 18 point lead. Miller from long downtown. Good. Big three point shot hit there by Scott Miller. So with Huckabee out of the ball game, Miller has picked up some of the scoring slack. He's got seven third quarter points. He's scored seven of his team's nine. 42 27. The lead's at 15. Like Paoli going to spread it out here with 48 seconds to go and maybe go for the last shot of the quarter. Newcastle's going to make it tough on him, though, pressuring the ball, and here's a steal as Perry took it away from Combs, and away it goes to Miller. 35 to play third quarter. Estill hit the big shot right at the end of the first half. Goes to Milliken. Like Newcastle really looking for the three, although Milliken takes it inside and shoots without no. Barry rebounds back up and good. Finally, Chad Barry in the scoring column today with his first two points. 42-29, an 18-point lead down to 13. Newcastle scored five in a row, 10 seconds to play, third quarter. Combs with eight, isolated one-on-one -on -one with Barry. Back pick again for Combs. Here's a shot by Babcock, that's good. A leaning shot for the right baseline by Joe Babcock as the third quarter comes to an end. And Paoli leads Newcastle by 15 points after three at 44 to 29. And we'll be back with our fourth and final quarter from here in Newcastle right after these messages.
Yeah, we're back in Newcastle as Chrysler Arena getting set to, for the start of the fourth and final quarter. There's your score with Paoli in front by 15 points. It's 44-29. It will be Newcastle's basketball. Kyle Huckabee remains on that Trojan bench with four personal fouls. And just as we say that, uh, he comes to the scores table is getting set to check in uh, the lineup for the Trojans. In the meantime, we have a holding foul called on Paoli as that foul will be whistled on Kelly Toole. And Toole, that'll be his uh, first personal foul. Here comes Huckabee with 15 points in the game. Four personal fouls as Chris Bell goes out. You can't count Newcastle out. They're a high-powered offensive team. And think, uh, they come back and Huckabee gets involved right away. They're going to be ready to go. As Milligan took the inside pass, we got something to wait for the basketball. A foul will be called. That one's uh, whistled on uh, Jason McCracken. McCracken has just picked up his uh, second personal foul. Couple of early fouls on Paoli. Here's Barry inside, and he shoots it up and in. Chad Barry with point number four of the game. The 13-point ball game, Paoli at 44-31. And here's the ball, an over and back violation called on the Rams. Newcastle try to fight back from an 18-point third-quarter deficit. They have it down to 13 with still a lot of time left in the ball game with 7 minutes and 34 seconds left as Lynn checks in and McCracken goes out. Bad place to stop his dribble right there at the 10-second line. You're not sure you're on one side or the other. You pass one side and it's deflected. You can get it over and back, and that's what happens. Miller and Huckabee working that two-man play, and Huckabee is going to be fouled before the shot. So Newcastle has seen Combs and Sibbett uh, work that two-man play quite a bit today. And uh, that time it was Miller and Huckabee. And the foul was called on Lynn. That's his first. The third foul, actually the second on Lynn. The third foul already here in the fourth quarter on Paoli. Newcastle to play it in. Played 35 seconds of the fourth and final quarter. Like the official uh, settling everybody down as uh, they line up on the out-of-bounds play. Miller, they get it inside to Barry again. He shoots it up, no good, but a whistle to foul called. So all of a sudden, Newcastle did a much better job of getting the ball inside to Chad Barry. And he'll go to the foul line for two shots. That foul called on Dean Lynn, and that's his third. Uh, you see Coach Mike Brown there hollering uh, that that's uh, 4,040 seconds, and uh, certainly not the thing that Paoli wants to have happen here, as you see Barry on the turnaround jumper and the foul. But uh, you don't want to give Newcastle a chance to get back in it at the free throw line with the clock stopped. Trojans normally a very good free throw shooting ball club and just as I say that Barry misses again from a line but uh, they came in shooting 73.1% as a team for the foul line and Barry's at 72% but he misses on that one and he goes back to the stripe for one more and he scores as he hits his point fifth point of the game 12 point ball game 44-32 full court Newcastle pressure really nice against a full court press to have that 6-7 guard back there and Combs to be able to look over the traps and uh, advance the ball. Quick shot missed by Sibbett. Rebound Newcastle. Milligan to Miller. About a 28 foot Bob. Good! Oh my what a shot by Scott Miller showing some tremendous shooting range. Here comes the Trojans. They're back home and ready to go. Back to within nine. They got it uh, under double digits. Tool driving right side. Newcastle has scored the first six points in the fourth and final quarter. One time down by 18 points in the third quarter. It's a nine-point game. 6.35 still left. Combs. Combs on a baseline drive. Drops it back to Babcock. Out high to Tool. They only being very patient on this possession. They've seen their lead cut in half from 18 down to nine. Here's a shot by Babcock that's uh, no good, and Huckabee rebounds. Leads a fast break. Huckabee just turned the ball over. Big turnover there. They've hurt the Newcastle all day long, but I don't know if there's one any bigger than that as they broke out three on one, a chance to draw to within seven, and Huckabee turns it over in the palming violation. Paoli on that last possession, very patient, but I think you have to be careful, too, and not get too tentative. You have to stay aggressive and play the, the same way that you've been playing to get you to this point. Uh, not, a, not a real good shot that they wanted. They've got to make sure that they execute the offense and get the kinds of shots that they want now as Newcastle is making this little run. Sam Alford, 19th year in Newcastle. Boy, he's into this one today. Here's Tool firing for the baseline. That's no good. Huckabee, another rebound. And clears it away to Miller. Newcastle with a chance to cut in that lead even more. Estel's got it right side. 
They have some pretty good three-point three shooters in the ball game, and Miller and Estill, those two, out beyond the three-point arc. Huckabee, down low, Barry. Short turn around, no, but a whistle to foul called. And Barry to Newcastle's line for two with 5.42 left in the game. Well, the, the two things that you just don't want to happen when you've got the lead like that is to let the other team score from the free throw line and second to give up three-point shots. And both those things are happening so far in this quarter. So with five minutes, 42 seconds left of the ball game, it's 44-35. Paoli in front of Newcastle by nine. We'll be back with more right after these words. by Snedeker's on Broad Street here in Newcastle. 542 to play in the game. 44-35. We have ourselves a ball game. An 18-point Newcastle deficit in the third quarter. The Trojans to within nine and Barry with a chance to draw his ball club to within seven. He's at the foul line for two shots. Let's turn this game around, guys. Well, I think going inside, uh, Newcastle's done an excellent job now of going inside. Barry's more aggressive and uh, I think those two three-pointers that they hit early kind of pulled the defense now they're kind of worried about getting the threes and now Barry's starting to take over and obviously having Huckabee I think all the rest of the kids became more aggressive because they felt confident when he returned Barry's foul shot is good there you see what Bays is talking about going inside to Barry and turn around jumper and, and gets fouled and steps the free throw line Barry misses his second one Get him off! Battle for the loose ball goes out of bounds. The last touch by Newcastle, so it will be Paoli basketball. Eight-point lead. There's Mike Brown up. He has not been pleased with the officiating here in the fourth quarter. Combs to inbound. Plays it to Stivett. Now to Combs. Knocked away from behind. Out of bounds by Miller. Well, Newcastle getting very aggressive now in their full-court defense, and... Uh, uh, Pale is going to have to do a little better job of taking care of the basketball. Newcastle hustling and scrapping its way back in the ball game. Combs foul backcourt Miller. We got Scott for four personal fouls. Huckabee already playing with four for Newcastle, and Miller has just picked up his fourth personal foul, and they've done uh, most of the scoring today for Newcastle. Huckabee has uh, 15 points, and Miller has 10. Scott Combs with 19 points is at the Paoli free throw line for a one and one. We mentioned uh, Newcastle outstanding foul shooting ball club at 73 for, for uh, 0.1 percent as a team. Uh, Paoli's at 68.9 percent as a team, but Combs and Sibbett both over 77. Scott's free throw, no good. Huckabee with another rebound. I think he you're going to see the ball in Sibbett's and Combs' hands the rest of the way. Coach Brown talked about that a lot in the timeout to be sure at least they touch it before we take a shot. To, two shots that got him a little bit in trouble were a little quick and uh, the two players didn't touch it uh, obviously everybody has to score but you want your big players to get a touch that ball at the end of the game big defensive play by Combs intercepting the interior pass intended for Barry and gets it away now to Sibbett turnovers 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 they killed Newcastle all day long less than five to go in the ball game Paoli with the ball an eight-point lead Babcock outside of Combs. Newcastle trying to trap the basketball. There's a steal by Estill. He races to the basket. Shoots one up. No, but a whistle to foul called. 
Josh Estill will go to Newcastle's foul line for two shots with 4.38 left in the ball game. Now, Palo is spreading the floor out that time, and I don't think they particularly wanted to hold it, but they're going to be very patient, and, and it seems to me they're getting just a little bit tentative. Here you see the replay that drives the basket and the bump there with foul on the body, but I think Paoli has to be careful uh, to take good shots, get the ball into the hands of the people they want to have the ball, but at the same time not get tentative offensively. I think they have to uh, maintain an aggressive frame of mind. Foul was called on Combs. That's his third. Three on Combs, two shots for Estill. He's got three points in the ball game on that uh, three-point field goal that he hit uh, right at the end of the uh, first half of play. And the first free throw is good. So Estill with point number four will go to the foul line for one more shot. He's an 82% free throw shooter on the year. Next foul shot up and good. Nice release, uh, real square technique. 44-38. Closest Newcastle has been in a long time, and here's Combs nearly turning the ball over the backboard. Newcastle has turned up the defensive intensity here in the fourth quarter. The only still hasn't scored. We played nearly half of the quarter. Sivet ball knocked away Tabor, but Sivet controls. The Combs are now back to Sivet. Nine to nothing. Newcastle has outscored Paoli here in the fourth quarter. Combs being hounded by Tabor. Paoli taking the, the air out of the basketball here with that six-point lead, but now Combs drives inside with it a block hold on Newcastle. That's what they were trying to do, get an isolation with Combs with Barry, but the first time Barry didn't come out, and uh, they just made a careless pass for the turnover that cut it back to six, but that time they got it isolated where they wanted it. There you see Combs on the drive and uh, step over there by Tabor. Not able to get position and uh, draws the foul. Works a lot better when Barry's the one taking the charge because he does a good job of getting himself square inside, but that time he ended up on the perimeter and Tabor, who usually is on the perimeter, had to take the block and uh, he got a call for a foul. Combs one and one, this time is good. Finally, uh, Paoli has scored here in the fourth quarter, snapping a nine-point run by Newcastle. 20 for Combs, and Paoli leads by seven, 45-38. Still 3.55 left. Well, free throw shooting will be key, too, for Paoli as they go down the stretch, because you get the feeling they're going to find themselves at the line quite a bit here in the last four minutes of the ball game. Paoli with some pressure in the backcourt. That's still the Tabor. Underneath the basket, and the shot is up by England. No good. And Combs rebounds to Stibbett. Nice pass by Tabor, and just a little bit off in the land, but excellent pass against the pressure. Stibbett finds the open man. That's Tool. Circling around. Out of Babcock. Reaching, called on Tabor, his third. One and one. Upcoming now for Joel Babcock. Came in as a 100% foul shooter, but uh, missed his two free throw opportunities back in the first quarter. He's at the line here for a one and one with 3.25 left. Nice patience there by Paola. Spread it out. Go to the free throw line. Championship teams have to hit free throws down the stretch. Babcock with two points in the game. Foul shot no good. And the rebound taken down by Miller. Quick three from the left side. Good. He's on fire right now with three three-pointers. Miller, 13 points in the game, 46 to 41. He's brought Newcastle back to within five. And now an offensive foul called on Combs, pushing off Estill. That's his fourth. And the ball goes back to Newcastle with 3.09 left and a chance to draw even closer. I saw Combs do that on the down here at our end in the first half, or in the second half on a drive, and he does use the off arm for protection, and that time he just got it out just a little bit too wide, and the referee had the angle and called it. 13 second half points by Scott Miller in Newcastle, down by 18, is close to within five. Miller's got it, looking for the shot as it's stripped loose, and still by Sibbett, races two on one, Sibbett all the way for the layup, it's good. A nice job protecting the basketball with his body as he took it in the basket. Big play by Sibbett, still the ball for Miller and racing in and scoring, 48 to 41, the lead's at seven. Lob pass inside England, knocked away, stolen Babcock. Babcock races to their baseline. Great feet inside. A tool shot up. No, but a whistle to foul called. It's on Newcastle. Two shots. Paoli with 2.40 left of the game. And the Rams up by seven. Good weak side help that time. Uh, 
on the lob pass, and then nice job by Babcock on this end, not to take the bad shot, but to look inside, find tool open, get in the basketball. There you see a, a drive the basket and a foul by uh, uh, Newcastle. Kelly Tool go to the free throw line for two shots. Tabor just picked up his fourth personal foul. Huckabee's got four. Tabor has four. Miller has four for Newcastle. Combs has four for Paoli. 2.40 left of the game. 48 to 41. Paoli leads Newcastle by seven. Vincennes and Heath Noble will follow this one. Two winners playing for the Hall of Fame championship tonight at 8 o'clock. And Nuka, or Paoli needs to make sure they really get a hand up on Scott Miller now. He's got the hot hand from three, and that's the one thing can really get you back in the ball game quicker than anything with uh, just a couple minutes to go, and then you're down by seven or eight. That three gets you right back in it. Foul shot missed by Tool. Keep it here as a timeout called by Newcastle with two minutes and 40 seconds left. 48 to 41. Paoli leads by seven. The Rams not shooting their free throws well, though, here in the fourth quarter. Only two out of five from the line. Quarter breakdown. Paoli led by seven points after one at 12 to five. They had an eight point lead at the half at 26 to 18. At one time, headed up to 18 points in the third quarter of play. Although Newcastle closed it within 15 after three at 44 29. The Trojans came out and scored the first nine points of the fourth and final quarter to get the ball game down to six. Paoli opened things up. A bit, but then Newcastle drew it to within five and seven right now at 48 to 41, and one free throw coming up for Tool with two minutes and 40 seconds left. Well, the one thing that really hurts Newcastle right now is I believe is Miller in foul trouble yeah, right he's now, got four. and he's such a great defensive player, and the last time when they were pressing, he wasn't able to really go after the ball like he generally does, so he can't foul out. He has to be there for that three-point threat, and he can't be quite as aggressive defensively as he'd like to be. If I'm Paoli, Greg, I think I, I've got to be considering uh, double teaming Miller when he gets the basketball because he's got the hot hand now, and you know sometimes you get in what players call the zone, and he seems to be there, so I'd have to run another guy at him and double team him. Uh, you just don't want to give up that three point shot. Miller's hit five out of his last six shots. Three of them have been three point field goals. 13 points all being scored here in the second half of play. Tool at the line. He has 13 in the game. And his foul shot is good. Eight point Paoli lead. Miller. Esto, shot inside Barry, jump hook is good. Four fouls on Combs, they couldn't challenge him right there. The outside shooter to Newcastle opens things up a bit for Chad Barry here in the second half. Six fourth quarter points, eight points in the ball game. The ball knocked away, stolen by Miller to Huckabee. All the way in, layup is good, basket counts and a foul. A four point ball game and Huckabee to the line with 2.15 left and Newcastle making a great fourth quarter run. Great aggressive is there by Scott Miller. He took a chance, went after that ball. He's hyped and uh, he wants this game. So nice play there by Miller to get knock it loose. Huckabee to finish it looking for the three point play. 2.15 left, 49-45. Paoli leading Newcastle by four. Huckabee was 17 points in the game. He scored 13 points in the first half. At one time, it scored all 13 of Newcastle's points. His free throw is no good. Combs to Tool through traffic. There's the double team. I post Combs. Good look inside. Lynn Lamp is good. Big basket there. First basket in the ball game by Dean Lynn. He scores with two minutes left, and it gives Paoli a six-point lead. Newcastle gambling on defense. That opens things up as Barry with a sweet turnaround in the lane. Two more. What a difference when you get your confidence and start playing. He couldn't buy a basket in the first half. Now he's automatic. Well, Paoli is not able to double down on him now because of the three-point shot. Lind again, Lamp is good again. Back-to-back -back buckets for Paoli's Dean Lind. And the uh, Rams by six, 53-47. Good play down the stretch each way. Estill fakes the three, gets it inside Huckabee. His drive is good. 53-49, a four-point ball game with 120 left. Tip it across the timeline for the Rams. Going to their four-corner offense, going to try to run it out. The way Newcastle's aggressive on defense, they're going to have to keep scoring. Lind again, shot block, whistle, foul called, and Lind will go to the line for two shots. 106 left. That's a real nice job there out of the four-corner offense. If you can penetrate the middle, break that defense down, 
A lot of times you catch one of your big men open along the baseline. It's exactly what they did on that play. And a timeout called by Paoli. One minute and six seconds left in regulation play. 53-49. Paoli leads Newcastle by four. But a frantic fourth quarter comeback by the Newcastle Trojans. And uh, we've seen our best basketball here in the fourth quarter. But uh, some great plays both ways. Well, the last two plays by the inside people of Newcastle I thought were outstanding. Huckabee's drive to the basket. The, end, the last uh, play was uh, outstanding. And Barry hit about a 15-footer in the middle. So uh, the big men are doing well. And mainly because Scott Miller hit those threes earlier. Yeah, that's really opened it up inside for Newcastle. And, uh, and they've become very, very aggressive as well. Paoli's going to have to... Uh, handle the ball. They're 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 getting fouled a little bit, not being called, and they're going to have to handle the ball with people uh, reaching in, slapping, and so forth. They've done a much better job of that the last two possessions. Now well, there was an overtime ball game here last night for the Girls Hall of Fame Classic Championship, with Seager doubting Lafayette Jeff for the title game. That contest going overtime. Yeah. See that ball game uh, coming up uh, this Saturday. In fact, uh, right here on TV 40. At the foul line for two shots will be Dean Lind, a 71% free throw shooter on the air. Four points with two big layups inside here down the stretch for the Rams, and his free throw is good. He has scored the last five points in the ball game for Paoli. Another player stepping up big for this Rams basketball team today. It's great to see a senior uh, coming out, keeping with it. Eight of them, all of them loyal, and all of them wanting to see Paoli be a championship team. Second foul shot is good. Rams by six, 55-49, one minute left. Look for a Newcastle three. Miller gets his screen, will stop and launch a long bomb. That's an air ball, no good. And Lynn with a rebound, gets it to Combs. Combs away from trouble in the backcourt. Combs dish off and just threw the ball off the official and out of bounds. And it goes over to Newcastle with 50 seconds left. The official's part of the floor, That's but right. uh, they <laughs> have to be in the wrong part of the floor right there for Mike Brown's opinion. Davis inbounds to Miller. Huckabee's going to launch a long bomb. And the rebound taken down by Babcock. Combs out of Sibbett. 35 left. Lind again. Whistle and a travel on Lind. Ball goes to Newcastle with 32 seconds left and still a six-point ball game. Well, really no need to take it in that time. Should have just brought it back out and used up some clock. They're going to get fouled go to the free throw line. 55-49, Paoli, leading Newcastle. Miller finally touches the ball just before he crosses the timeline with 30. Another long three blocked by Babcock and a whistle and a foul called. And Miller will get three shots with 28 seconds left. Paoli did the right, the right thing that time. They ran a second player at Miller. But you've got to go straight up and, and just get a hand up and pressure the shot. You, you want to make sure that you don't get a body on the shooter there. You can't send that guy to the free throw line with three shots. Anytime you block the ball when it's still in the shooter's hand, 95% of the time they're going to call a foul. And uh, obviously another chance play. Uh, Miller's up the line. Pressure free throws. Three free throws. Scott Miller, 78% from the line of the season, has yet to attempt a free throw in today's game. He's got 13 points, all scored here in the second half. Barry goes out. Milliken will come in. That's basically for defensive purposes. They're kind of in a situational substitution role now. Look for Barry to come back in the ball game uh, uh, during uh, the next stoppage of play, or at least when Newcastle gets the ball back. Well, they're going to foul automatically, and they couldn't let Huckley stay in because if it went to his man, they couldn't have fouled. So they had to get him out and substitute offense and defense. Miller's first free throw, good. No, a 78% free throw shooter, so a good guy to have at the line here with three shots. Next one, good. Kind of an odd free throw style. Stops the ball just over his forehead and then kind of pushes it, but uh, obviously it's worked pretty well for him. About in the same spot he shoots his jump shot from, but he kind of takes a little time to get it there and get it cocked. Chance to draw Newcastle to within three. Next one, good. 16 for Scott Miller. Rodney Berry will check in the ball game. Miller goes out. Had to get Miller out so they can foul immediately. So look for a quick back door here and then a foul if they don't Combs they get him right away. Oh, they missed him. Time is running. Simmons dribbling around. Simmons has the ball knocked away, but a foul called. Whistled on Brian Davis. It'll be his third. And Joe Simmons to the foul line for a one and one for Paoli with 21 seconds left 
and the Rams clinging to a three-point lead over Newcastle at 55-52. Real nice job, number one, to get the ball into the hands of Joe Sivett, and number two for him to keep it. You could tell that he wanted the basketball. He wanted to be the guy to step up the free-throw line. Yeah, basketball is a funny game. Newcastle, through three quarters of play, and scored only 29 points. They've scored 23 points here in the fourth and final quarter. Cut into an 18-point lead. They got it down to three. But Sibbett a chance to extend it for Paoli for a one-on-one. -one. He's got 10 points in the game. Normally a very fine free throw shooter. He is six for seven for the stripe today. Newcastle is able to get their offensive players now back in with Barry Huckabee and Miller. And it's the foul shot. They need the three. Look for Scott Miller. Miller's got it now with 15. Stops and launches a long three that's no good. And we got a foul called on Paoli with 12 seconds left. One and one, Newcastle, 12 seconds left. They only leading by three, 55-52. Boy, he had a look at the basket there. I thought that was gonna go down. He had a great look at the basket. Foul called on Dean Lynn. He has just fouled out of the ball game. He remains on the floor, and now the official comes over to tell Lindy he has the five. Now, this has turned out to be a pretty good ball game today. Both teams struggled early offensively. Well, you oh. got to really, really give Newcastle a lot of credit, too, because I tell you, when they were down by 18 there in the third quarter, they were right on the verge of being blown out of this thing, and they could have folded very easily. Didn't do that. Fought their way back in it, and then they got that big momentum on their side. And well, once that gets to going, uh, anything can happen, and it just about has her so far, and they've they still got a shot at it with 12 seconds. At the foul line will be Brian Davis. He has yet to score in the ball game. He's a 50% foul shooter on the year. Got a big one and one here with 12 seconds left in regulation. His free throw is good. Big shot by Davis. Key now for Paola is make sure to get a good box out on this shot. You don't want to let him miss this shot and uh, give up the offensive rebound for the three-point play. Ryan Davis for one more. Big rebound inside. Tool's got it with a quick foul with nine seconds left. The two-point ball game. Paoli leads 55-53. Nine seconds left. And the Rams will be shooting a one-and-one. -one. Tool will be up to strive for the one and bonus. Foul on uh, Newcastle. Called on Rodney Berry, his first. This first free throw is a big one right here. It's a very important not to let Newcastle have the last shot to win the game. Tool with 14 points in the game. He is six for nine for the foul line today. Came in though as only a 42% free throw shooter. At the strike for a one and one. Kelly Tool, a 6'2 senior. Listen to the noise from Newcastle fans. Shot good. And Kelly Tool stepped up big for the Rams all day. He was the guy in the first quarter who really got him started and uh, stepping up to the big free throw right there. Timeout now can be called by Paoli. So with nine seconds left in regulation, 56 to 53, and two will have one more free throw after uh, we resume play. And should he hit that, it would give uh, Paoli a four-point lead and uh, make it a two-possession ball game with only nine seconds left. It'd be mighty tough for Newcastle to come back. But uh, should he miss it, uh, the Trojans then uh, would uh, set up for a possible game-time three-point field goal. I'm sure Coach Brown called the timeout now. Just make sure his team realizes no three-point shots right now. Anything but a three. Let them throw it underneath, whatever they want to do. But do not let them shoot a three. Uh, obviously, if they make the next free throw, it's a four-point lead. Then his defensive play changes. But this three-point lead, he has to deny the three-point shot. So expect him to have someone on Scott Miller all over the court. Well, and the other key here, too, is make sure that uh, the Paoli kids know if the Newcastle does score, they're going to be pressing down their full court and make sure that they get aligned in, in the kind of alignment they want to get the ball inbound and get it to the people they want to step the free throw line. The opening ball game of the Marsh Hall of Fame Basketball Classic from here in Newcastle coming right down to the wire with the only leading Newcastle by three points, 56-53. Tool, one more free throw.
15 points for Kelly Toole. Back to the stripe. Nine seconds left. Came up by three. Chance to give him a four-point lead. Foul shot is up. No good. Newcastle still alive. Huckabee with seven. Huckabee, tough, off-balance, three, no good. Rebound taken down, McCracken foul with one second left. Huckabee with a tough shot and nearly got it to go, came up just a little bit short. McCracken rebounds with one second left, and he'll have a one and one, and it looks like Paoli is going to hang out and win this one over a gutsy comeback effort. Newcastle team here in the first ball game of the Hall of Fame Classic as they lead by three, a one and one with one tick of the clock left. That was an awful good shot for Kyle Huckabee. He looked like he was a little off balance, but he had his eye on that target, and he almost put it in to tie the game. Great effort by Newcastle on the hustle they've had to come back from that 15-point deficit, and uh, they can be very proud of their effort. McCracken, Jason McCracken at the foul line for a one and one. Substitutions now as for Newcastle. Bob Garchewski will check in the ball game for the first time. Also in is Kelly Archie. Bracket is yet to score in the game. We have 33% free throw shoot around the year. One second left. Foul shot up. No good. Rebound. Huckleby throws one down the floor. No good. And there's your ball game. 56 53. They only hang down to win today over Newcastle by three points. And the Rams will play for the Hall of Fame Basketball Classic Championship tonight at 8 o'clock. But what a great effort by Newcastle. Down at one time by 18 points in the third quarter of play. Coming to within three, but losing 56 to 53. There's your final score with Paoli improving its record now to 9 0 on the season. And the Newcastle Trojans fall to 8 3 on the year. Back to recap today's first ball game of the Hall of Fame Basketball. Classic right after we pause now for these messages. 